We on 18, 18. We on 18, 18. All about the semis. We on 18, 18. All about the semis. We on 18, 18, baby. All about the semis. What it is. It's your boy QDZ, the double E's, another episode all about semis. Hey, I'll bet you I did drive, Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all doing good. Y'all can see I'm beating the streets. Man, I'm going to jump into this. So, I stumbled across this um, article, which I later found the uh, footage for, which I'm getting ready to share with you guys. About some predatory towing and there's a lot of predatory towing out there you know we just had the predatory mechanics now we got this predatory towing where a guy um, had his truck towed and then the tow company wanted forty thousand dollars for towing this vehicle so I want y'all to check this out and let me know what y'all think in the comments be safe out there drivers Let's get it. WJAN investigates a towing company asking for more than $40,000 to recover a semi truck after it overturned nearly a week ago. That driver speaking with WJAN's Dana Rebic tonight. I was driving and I was on the right side. When I became under the bridge, it just rolled over on the ground. It happened around 1030 last Thursday morning at 79th and Kedzie. Semi-truck driver Stephen Yannin says after hitting the viaduct and overturning, an ambulance arrived, and soon after, so did a tow truck. They say, oh, we don't give a price. We don't know how much it will be. You guys need to contact our dispatch. Yonin got a hold of his boss, who spoke with a man from emergency towing and recovery over the phone. Because my truck was blocking both lanes of traffic, he needed my permission to upright the truck to clear the roadway. I gave him permission, but said... Can you also tow it for me today when you pick it up to Elk Grove Village, Illinois? And he told me yes. That never happened. Junior Smith says instead, emergency towing contracted with another company called Official Towing, hauling the semi to this lot in Chicago Ridge. He came to the scene of an emergency, got people while we're all rushing to try and clean up a mess um, and took advantage of us and now he's hijacked our equipment and he's holding it ransom for $41,000. Smith says he's had to pay for tows like this in the past and was never charged more than 10000 This invoice, Smith says, shows a forged signature with the amount due. He said that Stephen agreed to those charges, which, which, which was untrue. He, uh, he gave him his license, but he never signed anything. Um, and we course here we are today to top it off the towing company separated the trailer from the cab and the owners say drained the diesel in the gas tank and i have a pictures for before and after they suck all the fuel from a truck 150 gallons or about 600 dollars worth but that's now the least of their worries the towing company owner won't return his calls we tried the number listed for esau santos with emergency towing the number you have reached has been disconnected. We also went to the address listed, 7500 Southwestern, and found what appeared to be an unmarked gated impound lot. But no one was there to answer our questions. Then he said, bring the 23,000 cash. Go to your bank, get the 23,000 cash, and then I will tell you where to bring the money. In 2022, WGN Investigates uncovered the unexpected and often exorbitant bills drivers receive after a tow and the number of complaints sent to the Illinois Commerce Commission, the towing industry relatively unregulated. The ICC does not control pricing, but does have the power to fine rogue operators. The ICC has fined official towing four times since 2020. For various offenses, including operating without carrier registration. Emergency towing, which sent the $41,000 bill, is so new it just registered with the Secretary of State's office two weeks ago. Yeah, that's what we jokingly called them a little bit was ambulance chasers. They listen to scanners and they rush to the scene of acts. It's not just big trucks. From what I understand, this happens to people in cars too. Junior Smith has filed his own complaint with the ICC, hoping to get his rig back soon. And in time is of the essence, right? Sooner or later, that's our biggest fear is when we do resolve this, they're going to come back and say you owe us another $10,000 in storage fees. 
You just don't know how it's going to play out. We learned the city of Chicago does contract with a towing company to remove vehicles from accident scenes, but it was neither of the ones in our story. The ICC recommends that drivers receive a written estimate before allowing a company to tow your vehicle. In Lincoln Park, Dana Rebic, WGN News.